So for problem 42, really understanding the function notation is the goal of this video. And we've seen these kinds of things before. f of x equals this, something over here, and we, we put something in for x and we find what the value of y is. And so sometimes we see y equals x squared minus 1 over x plus 4. We, th these two mean the same thing. In fact, the graphs would be exactly the same. But using the function notation allows us to, to be a little bit more specific and, and be a little bit cleaner when we're trying to figure out what the outputs are given the inputs. So, so when I say output and input, I mean what you put in for x is called your input. That's, the, that's a domain value. So everything that goes in for x, every real number that you replace x with, is a domain value. It's part of the inputs. And what do you get out? Well, the f of f of something, the f of x, is your output. Output. And I, I pointed to the zero as the input, but also the x is the input. And everywhere you see an x, in this particular rule, remember a function is a rule that says, okay, for each input, we're going to assign to you one output. It's a function. So this x right here is the same as that x. So that x right there, same as that x, and the same as that x. Meaning that wherever you see an x, you're going to, you're going to, whatever you give the function to be the input, you're going to put right there, you're going to square it, you're going to subtract 1, you're going to take that and you're going to divide it by that same number plus 4. So let's see how that works with f of 0. So f of 0 being the input, we want to figure out what the output is. f of 0. f of 0 is the output. That's the output. So if f of 0 is the output, we want to figure out well, what is that number. If x is the 0, then what's the y? What's the output? What's f of 0? Well, we're going to replace x with 0, and we're going to put 0 squared minus 1. And, and it says also put an, a 0 down there. Put the input down there and add 4. So now we can just, now we're going to get a number. So this, this whole thing is just a bunch of numbers, and we have to simplify it a little bit here. 0 squared is 0, 0, 0. So we have negative 1 fourth. So if the input is 0, it means the output is negative 1 fourth. And if that's the case, take it a step further, right? Taking it a step further, if, if x being 0 is the input and y being negative 1 fourth is the output, then we can actually plot that point. That, that's a, an ordered pair. When x is 0, y is negative 1 fourth. So that's an ordered pair. In fact, that ordered pair, if this is negative 1, then the, uh, the ordered pair 0, negative 1 fourth is a point on the graph of that function. So if we collect all the points and plot all the points that are actually, uh, that actually make this equation true, that all the collection of inputs and outputs, then what we'll have is the, the bunch of dots all over, and when we connect the dots, we have the graph of that function. We're not going to graph this right now. I'm just showing you. We have one dot, one point, it has a pair of coordinates, that pair of coordinates right there that corresponds to the input x and the output y. Uh, okay, three and a half minutes, I guess we can do uh, 42b here. So I won't take as long to explain this one, but I, wanna under, I want you to understand here that whatever the input is, you're going to square it, so let's think about that. Whatever the input is, we're gonna the input right there is the x plus h input, as we talked about. And it says you're gonna square it. The input squared minus one all over. And it says you're also supposed to put the input down there. X plus h plus four. So for the time being, we're just gonna leave that alone. Uh, and we, we could multiply it out if we wanted to, but uh, we're going to go ahead and, like I said, leave it alone. That is the, that is the output. Oh, man, I don't know what's going on with my... Oh, sorry, the little light's flickering. I guess I have to get a new light. Okay, so anyway, that's 42B. That's the output, unsimplified output, but nevertheless, it is the output. That's the most important part that you can understand is that that is f of x plus h. Okay? And not to be confused, one last thing, not to be confused, never, ever, ever do this. f of x plus h is not f of x plus h. So th these are different, 
Okay, these are different, so make sure you do not make that mistake. Make sure you know that.